Once upon a time, there was a little girl who wore a red riding hood all the time. That's why her mother called her Little Red Riding Hood. Darling, I baked a cake for your grandma. Can you take it to her house in the woods? And remember to stay on the path. The little girl started on her journey to her grandma's house. Then a big bad wolf appears. No need to be scared, little girl. Where are you going? I'm taking this freshly baked cake to my grandma, who is ill. Why don't you pick some flowers for her? That's a good idea. Well, I've got to go. Hope your grandma gets well soon. Have fun. Little Red Riding Hood got lost in the forest when a hunter appeared. What's wrong, little girl? asked the hunter. I'm lost. And where are you going? I was going to my grandma's house to take this cake to her. You must be Gertrude's granddaughter. How'd you end up here? I met a wolf who suggested I pick some flowers. I see. Well, the roads have changed a little bit since last weekend. King's orders, you know. Follow this path and you'll be back on track. Little Red Riding Hood waved his hand and said thank you. When arriving at Grandma's house, she knocked on the door. Who is it? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Come in, my dear. The sound of the voice sounded a little different, but she remembered that Grandma was ill. Come closer, my dear, so I can give you a hug. What a deep voice you have. To better greet you with. My goodness, what big eyes you have. To better see you with. And what big hands you have. To better hug you with. What a big mouth you have. To better eat you with. When he suddenly realizes that Little Red Riding Hood wasn't quite so helpless. Freeze right there, furry boy. Ouch. So it turns out that Little Red Riding Hood was an undercover detective, and they finally caught this big bad wolf. When the officers arrived, they put the big bad wolf in a cage. The officer said, huh, Good work. We've been after this bad wolf for quite some time. My pleasure. <laughs>